Hey everybody, I'm Eugene Driscoll. Once again, welcome to the Valley Indie Great Give live stream. Joining me right now is the man, the myth, the legend. You all know him, you all love him. It's Rich DiCarlo of the Valley Arts Council. Hello, Rich. Hey, Eugene, how was everything? How's all? Everything is going good. If you're watching this at home, we have a little bit of technical difficulties. You can see this wonderful still picture of Rich DiCarlo but you're not gonna see his mouth move. The video froze, but we're going ahead anyway. Oh, now it's moving a little. He's coming back to us. I don't know what's going on. Wishful thinking. See that, what a handsome fella. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> so we will just we will just get through it because the main message we wanna get out of this is that it's the great give and it's very easy to support the arts through the great give. And in fact, the great give even gives extra money. There's extra funds available if you donate to an organization such as the Valley's Valley Arts Council. And if you uh, wanna send some money to them, please do so by going to thegreatgive.org and donating to the Valley Arts Council. So Rich, I haven't talked to you like in a year regularly. What's new? Uh, not regularly, but I haven't talked to you in a year. What's new with the Valley Arts Council? Uh, new with the Valley Arts Council is number one is we're still alive. Many attempts have been to, let's say, quiet us down or get rid of us. Our rents went up and um, new landlords and things like that. And um, we survived. Um, we survived the pandemic, obviously. And um, we're starting with a full line of uh, student activities and you know classes and stuff like that. Those are rolling nicely. We're doing some work with the Derby schools, uh, teaching uh, courses there as well. So we're we're rolling along pretty good. So you know, doing a lot with the community and the kids, especially. And we're going to start the adult classes very soon. And you are still on Main Street in Ansonia. Yes, two fifty eight Main Street is the gallery, and uh, we operate out of that. And um, yeah, that's uh, you know, we did have we were you know little bit of issues with the um with the rent and stuff like that but of like everything else all the costs are going up and um it seems to be a struggle to maintain um quality issues with the uh current uh rise in costs yeah everything's going through the roof i know that uh, i i definitely uh, hear what you're saying uh, on the flip side, Ansonia, I know, is growing by leaps and bounds there because I used to be on Main Street or right near where you were at 158 Main Street, which is currently being uh, uh, converted into apartments. So it's pretty wild to see uh, what's going on on Main Street. I, I, I definitely miss being on Main Street. I definitely miss having not having an office or I miss having an office on, on Main Street in Ansonia. So uh, that's good for you. And I know like for... For people who don't know, what is the Valley Arts Council? Well, the Valley Arts Council, we're well, we're um, we were put here to make that connecting thread, according to our um, our mission statement. We're the connecting thread between those that want to create art and the, those who want to appreciate art and um, be a part of the art. So we've been following that since uh, well, about 2000. We've been in our inception. We were in, we were around since 1970s and stuff. Then we disappeared, but we came back. And um, thanks uh, to the work of Bill Purcell and the um, and the um, Chamber of Commerce, uh, they brought us back to life in 2000. And um, I've been at the helm since uh, wow, I think 2004 or five or so. Um, one of those things you can't get rid of but it's you know it's a it's a love of life so to speak you know the arts are a big thing and they're a vital part of the community that often get overlooked um and um we're basically we're we're the the it source for the arts and now, it, i'm sorry go ahead i interrupt yeah we're, we're that yeah we're the we're the uh the source for the arts i mean there are different factions and stuff but we're the uh, recognized um entity from the state and the community itself representing the seven valley towns and if, if I'm somebody who wants to get involved with the Valley Arts Council, if I want to check it out, uh, how does one go about doing that? Um, it's easy. You can visit our website at um, valleyartscouncil.org. Um, you can visit our gallery at 258 Main Street, or even we have a satellite gallery at the um, Safari Caffeine Fix on East, I think it's uh, East Main Street. East and Main. Oh, yeah. I haven't been there. I mean, Best coffee in the Valley. Oh, definitely, definitely. And we have a gallery wall there, and we're there every Saturday. So you want to see us. We're there on Saturday uh, from noon on, you know. So, 
you know, it's that's our hangout. We have our meetings there. We talk ideas. Oh, stuff no like kidding! That. Oh, that, that oh, is such. A, see, I I remember Safari Caffeine when it was on Main Street when the Valley Indy uh, first opened. Then it went away, and that and then it opened up again on East Main. But they do have a nice little space there. So really, so if I want to go uh, hang out with you hippie artists, I can I can head head down on a Saturday, huh? Of course, that's pretty yeah, good. We're there, and it's a quite a mix of people. We got the kids with the funny hair we got normal people <laughs> and old people. rich is joking rich is joking yeah i almost made a cheap weed joke now that weed's legal but i held off but yeah I, it's all good I, I have my tie-dye shirts and stuff like that but i mean after a while it just becomes like uh do i need this stuff you know <laughs> yeah right you feel like that meme where it's steve buscemi wearing uh his baseball cap backwards and there you go you know yeah. hello students I, or hello young people i get out of my driveway guy you know? yeah <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it's amazing how long you've been involved in the Valley Arts Council, Rich. Uh, you know, I first met you uh, in Derby when you were doing the uh, Arts Council there and very involved with the Derby Culture Commission. Uh, then you moved down to Ansonia. And there's so much in Ansonia over the last decade in terms of public events and Rock the Valley, the Memorial Day Parade. Yeah. Uh, I know this Paracon coming up at the uh, the Armory. There's so, there's so much going on uh, in Ansonia. How or what are some of the events you want to highlight? I, I know I didn't give you any time to prep, but what's coming up in Ansonia, Rich? Well, it's just uh, everything's happening. We have well, we're we're starting to schedule our summer concerts, and we're working on the Memorial Day parade. We're actually looking for marchers. So, if anybody interested in marching, any groups, organizations, um, businesses, you want to be a part of the uh, pay homage to those that gave their all and uh, support the um, you know the the um, let's say the veterans in the military and stuff like that. Those, you know the those that gave you know to honor those, we need their support. So we just. Um, if they are interested in marching in the parade, any organizations and stuff like that, um, they're more than welcome to contact the mayor's office and we'll put them in the lineup. Um, that's the first issue. And that's on Sunday, May 28th is the parade and it kicks off at 2 p.m. And if you want to see a great parade, uh, just stop by Main Street 2 o'clock and uh, line up on the street. And the parade goes down from Wakely Avenue, down Jackson, over the Maple Street Bridge, down Main Street. And uh, we have a reviewing stand at City Hall where the there'll be some entertainment and stuff there as well. Um, we are working on Rock the Valley. We have, uh, might as well jump the gun, and I'll, I'll tell everybody we're keeping it a secret for the longest time, but we have um, an ACD, uh, ACDC cover band, um, Dirty Deeds is going to be performing and that's one of the top uh, ACDC cover bands in the world. And it's, it's going to be a, we're talking a lot of energy. Last year, we kind of had a hippie fest. It was kind of, you know, subdued this time. We're going to knock it out of the park with, um, Wait, you... Rich, Rich, yeah. hold on. I got the first time ever. I got booted out of StreamYard just as you were uh, saying we were, we were keeping it a secret. Now I can't see you at all. What is with the great give? Every time I do the great give, I have technical problems. I use StreamYard 365 days a year. I stream all the time and I never have a problem except when the great give is cursed. So donate to the Valley Arts Council and donate to the Valley Indy. We obviously need the help. But Rich, you were saying ACDC? You got an ACDC cover yeah. band? Is that what I heard? I love oh, yeah. ACDC. Oh, these guys are amazing. They look just like them. Look and sound like them. They have the they have the powerful, you know, it's just, it's going to be unbelievable. Um, this one is going to be even better than I think than the Aerosmith. We have... Um, we have Earth, which is a um, Black Sabbath tribute supporting them. Uh, I love Black Sabbath. Oh, this is going. We're talking. We're going with a. Uh, you know, we were very subdued last time with the with the um, hippie music, the grateful. You know, the um, the Little jam. jam band stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And the way you had, you had a band, wasn't the guy who was from the band or something like that? Uh yeah, it was kind of subdued and it just. It was cool. It was cool, but now you're going. All right. The radar. Now we have to really kick it up a notch, and we had a. Um, we booked the, we had to book these guys as soon as that other thing ended, we booked these guys, we had to get them. Um, we also have XYZ revisited. That's a powerful band. And, um, let's say earth, the black Sabbath band. And we have, um, this band called obsession. These guys are out of, I believe, New Haven, uh, heavy rockers. So this is, we're talking heavy rock and roll and stuff like that. Heavy metal. So it's going to be a really, a awesome event and that sounds all awesome i know i went to rock the valley a few years ago with my kids and it was a great time it was a beautiful day there was like a bounce house there was all all it was just it, i had a wonderful time there and i was so pleasantly surprised at how 
professional and well put it, put together it was and how great the bands were. <laughs> and now you're talking ACDC cover bands, Black Sabbath. Oh, this is my, this is right up my alley. I will be drunk and passed out on Wakely at, no, I'm just kidding. Just <laughs> kidding. That's a joke, but that sounds awesome, Rich. So wh when is Rock the Valley now? Rock the Valley is um, August 26th, I believe. Yeah, August 26th, Saturday, August 26th. It's going till about 10 o'clock. We have the fireworks back. We lost the fireworks for a couple of years, but the fireworks will be back. So At the end of Rock the Valley? Yes. Yeah, so we're kicking. Wow. The we bought the fireworks back, and we have a real show, not the cake show that's in the bushes. You know, we have that used to be on the ground. Now we have the real show, and we were able to use the um, upper hill and do a professional show over the highway. So. It'll be uh, we're pulling hey, if there's one thing I want to see is fireworks over a highway, man. Oh, that sounds like a rocking good time. They, they, the friend, our friends at Farrell let us shoot them off in their area up there, you know. So it's, um, you know, they they shoot them up the off the top of the mountain. They'll be visible from all over the place. And but, who was but, who 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 was the influence? Who who are the closet metalheads or classic rock metalheads that are bringing in uh, the black? Who whose influence was that? You got a Black Sabbath cover band well, actually, and ACDC. John, John Marini. Marini. Marini John. likes Black Sabbath. I thought he was into like Poison, Def Leppard. Oh, he's into all that. But I mean, we had a, we John and I had a meeting and we had a we had a we had to come back with something with some energy. So we, um, you know, he's, he went heavy metal. We were originally trying to get a kiss band, but they proven to be, um, very high, very high priced. And, um, kiss don't matter. And because Gene Simmons gets a cut of that somehow, I'm sure. Possibly. Yeah. But I mean, these guys came in at, you know, at triple the budget on everybody. And it's like, come on, really work with us. You know, we don't charge admission for these things. And, uh, you know, it's a free event, um, which is unheard of these days, you know? So, yeah. The city is, you know, the administration is very nice to make this a gift, you know, as a gift for the people and stuff like that. So that's that's where it's all at. It's, it's all about the city, which is what the mayor wants, you know. And um, we try to keep that that going. So everybody, you know, come out on uh, Saturday, May 28th to see, you know, you come during the day. We have vendors. We'll have uh, food trucks. We'll have. Wait, I thought you said August. What do you mean May 20th? August, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. August I misheard. Come on out and just uh, we'll have the whole gamut of stuff there. A lot of kids events. We'll have a large kids of large kids venue, pony rides. Um, a lot of crafters and vendors. We'll have um, bar bar trucks, like usual. And you know we had them the last couple of years. And um, we have the big stage and we have solid music, a really solid rock and roll lineup. That sounds great, man. And then in terms of let, let's end it on because, you know, this is going to premiere. This video will be on during the Great Give and there's so many great nonprofits to support out there. But, uh, but I know like the Valley Indy, it's like we're barely hanging on. You know what I mean? It's there, there, there's limited dollars. You know what I mean? And we're all broke, for God's sakes. But what uh, particular needs does the Valley Arts Council have right now, if any? Uh, basically, what's your last pitch for people so they should donate and support you? What do you what, what kind of any projects, any anything worrying? Uh, what's going on? Well, we're going to continue. We're continue with our children's programs. We always need supplies and money for supplies and support of the children's uh, programs. Are the um, we call it the gallery rent, but that gallery is also our classroom. So that the, we use the gallery converts every week weekend. We convert the gallery into classrooms for the children, and we teach like 20, 20 or so kids over that time period. Um, we're extending to Sundays too now with um, with um, adults and stuff on the weekends. But we need the money for the supplies. We don't want to. You know, we don't want the kids to have to pay for supplies, you know. So if we can support, you know, the kids can um, be supported in that sense. That's great. Um, we're also expanding the uh, we're doing a gallery space and programs at the Ansonia Nature Center. We'll be talking to Allie over there. And um, that's another great place to support. Um, so we'll be working with them, um, having a little section of the um the road the ro the rotunda building there whatever that is so we'll have an area there for classes and a permanent oh that's great by, by the time this uh, uh is is published i uh, uh the nature center i'm also supposed to have on as well so we can learn more about that but here's what i wanted to mention because i kind of butchered this i should read this and now i know when to post this but in a, your money goes further if you donate to arts programs during the great gifts such as the valley arts council thanks to the Bank of America. They have the Raise the Curtain for Art Power Hour. Oh, the, Valley, the Valley Arts Council qualifies for this. So the Bank of America is increasing your gifts to visual and performing arts like this one. The organization will receive a prorated match from a pool of $10,000 oh, based on the number of unique voters. Here's the key part. 
May 3rd, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., raise the curtain power hour. So if you donate to this organization between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. on May 3rd, you double your money. You get a match up to a certain point. So that's really cool there. And again, it's thegreatgive.org. And then just search for the Valley Arts Council, or you can go to valleyindie.org. And by the time this is going on, I'll have all the Valley organizations listed. But uh, that's it. I don't want to push it. We've been doing it for 15 minutes, and we've been a little – we're we're cursed. Every time me and DiCarlo <laughs> try to do this, once a year, something goes wrong. And I don't want to blame John Marini, but I'm going to blame John Marini. But, <laughs> but somehow we get things done. So yeah, it gets done. Yeah, and, and, you know, I love you, Rich. Thanks for all you do for the Valley. Thank uh, you. You're an OG, and thank you for every year taking a couple of minutes to come on this ridiculous broadcast of mine. I, I really do appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Arts Council appreciates as well. Thank you very much. All right, man. Take care. All right. Take care. Thank you.